the, the new album's coming out. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yep, yep. So uh, when is the release date for the new album? Well, it's next Friday, so it's the 23rd. Um, uh, right. So, uh, yeah, a week today, the new album drops. And um, yeah. we so far have three singles which we released off the album, which the uh, uh, yeah. label chose. Just because we yeah. had we had a lot of time to wait in the queue for pressing, and although yeah. we could have we could have done the digital stream sooner, but I, I'm kind of old school mm. and I like the excitement Maybe of everything it, happening yeah. on one yeah, day. Yeah, so, yeah. so yeah, so yeah, we yeah. did three singles so far, and then on Friday the last single, which is the title track, goes out lyric video with oh. the. Album. So it's exciting. Fantastic! Yeah. Because I, I, I was just talking to a friend of mine about about the chatting to you and we all have our own you know like you have your own like i've got my my black sabbath singer like my black sabbath singer no, Tony Martin, right yeah right and so you're my you're my venom singer because because yeah you are because um prime evil is you know it's just like it was the i got into venom before yeah but then i was sort of just dancing around the outside and then prime evil comes out and it was like this is so revolutionary for me so different and I, that little three album uh, spell is just like i mean my venom right so yeah. it's so exciting when you when you formed venom inc in 2015 i was like this is going to be revolutionary and uh, really? such a great album. yeah i mean i i think you know i don't, I don't you know uh, uh um the classic is the classic and it's still there so mm. it doesn't matter what happens after a classic uh you know like mm. Lemmy said you know he wrote better songs than ace of spades and how many albums after the ace of spades but the ace yes. of spades is the ace of spades you you can't change that and i think exactly exactly i think that's the an important thing tone you just said i think you know when people say oh that's not that's not this isn't it's like yeah for you but for you as an you, individual, yeah. because there's, you know, um, there's there's people who weren't alive then and who joined the band yeah. at a different yeah. stage. And for them, you know, even Calm Before the Storm or or Resurrection yeah. or Temples of Ice or The Wastelands or or Hell or yeah. Metal Black, there's always a point where yeah. somebody joins and that becomes their uh, calling card. Absolutely. You know what I'm yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and that's good. I mean, that's good. How how many you know how many bands have that kind of uh, you know everybody wants that you know, uh, um, but mm. um, to to refine a band in in a different way you know. Um, of course, mm. Iron Maiden's longevity, Metallica's longevity, you know. Yeah, yeah. For for every yeah. Black album, you have a Saint Anger. For every Master of Puppets, you have yeah. a Lord of Reload. You know, so. Uh, it's yes. a journey yes. journey we're all on, and sometimes it's, it is. it's sometimes it's better than yes. other times for you as an individual. But it is an individual. It's not an it's not a collective in a way because we experience no. music as individuals, and and that's what's brilliant. And, about and, it. Yeah, yeah, and that's why. So, so I was going to say to you with the Arve, um when it came out, you find that you found a new audience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. I mean. I mean. You know, I put Down Flies out as the single, and um, mm. you know, I did that to, I guess, to make a point. You know, uh, it, it's it, it, I edit it from the six minutes it is on the album to a four minute version, and it mm. wasn't what people expected. You know, we it would have been very easy to put up Metal We Bleed and have the old school fans going, Ah, oh, yeah, brilliant, that's what we expected. And the next yeah. But I, but I, why give them what they're expecting? Let's give them something <laughs> that makes them want to listen, or 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 misjudge. They misjudge it. It, it was a, it was a an exposition in in um uh, uh, on uh, how people judge things, you know, and, and comments on on the back of Dying Flash were, oh my God, is the whole album going to sound like that? It's like, well, it's one track. I mean, it's one track, so you're going to judge everything you haven't heard on one track. Um, why yeah, not yeah. wait and experience it? So it was a kind of punctuation, and you know, I remember there was a French fan who old school fan, 
um, who'd been very supportive and and loved all things Venom, everything, and uh, cool. didn't did disparage between you know him and me and them and this and that one and this one. I just loved it all. And when I put down, <laughs> you actually wrote me a message and said, "You have destroyed my whole life." You know, everything I thought about the band and I don't know what this single is supposed to be. Poor man's Rammstein. It just sucks. It's the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. I can't believe you've, you've let me down in this way. And of course, then the album went out and then he wrote to me several months later going, can I just say I was totally wrong. I can't stop playing Dying Flies every time I get into my car and do my job. It's one of my yeah. favorite songs ever. And that's it. You just... Yep. A knee-jerk reaction is to think, you know, I just saw a German reviewist um, not uh, a week ago that said, uh, you know, he didn't say the album was bad. He said, he, you know, yeah, it's okay, but not remarkable. But he said, you know, you listen to the first, the opening song, Come To Me, uh oh uh, How Many Can Die? And then it goes into Infinitum, and it's just exactly the same song. But it's like, right, okay, and then judged everything on that. And it's like, well, okay, you wouldn't know that, but but those two songs are part one and part two of the same song. So that's probably why there's a similarity, there's connective tissue in there. Yeah. But you only get that from discussion and you only get that from really involving yourself with the album uh, and and giving it time to speak to you. You know, some things, yeah, yeah. Some things like, uh, or, or just pop music, you know, you make popcorn, it's gone in a couple of minutes, it's taken you a couple of minutes yeah. to make it, it's done. But if you go out for a steak dinner for your anniversary and you're going to have, <laughs> you know, the whole five courses, you know, yeah. now you've got a real experience. You're going to, you know, you're going to spend the whole night. It isn't popcorn. It's actually food, you know? So um, I guess that's kind of how I want it to be always. So it takes, yeah. a, it might take longer for some people and less time for other people, but just enjoy it. Take your time. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Just well, take the thing, the time. See, we, we we had a, had a friend who made I made an album came out and we were in lockdown. The single came out and he was in absolute tears. He was like, this is awful. I can't stand this. Yeah, why like, have they done this to I, my life? I know. Yeah. And I said, and I said, can it just? I said, take a chill pill. Wait for the album. It's out of context. Yes. And, and it's, well, when he got the album and he played, he goes, Tony, I'm so glad you gave me some common sense because I was so ready to be angry. I said, but it's a context. Yeah. Don't read a book by one page. You read the whole book. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly it. Tony, I couldn't have put it better myself. It's what I always say to people. It's like, you know, you have to have it in context. And, and it is. Mm -hmm. You could you you don't judge you don't judge that book on one page. Mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings, no. the, you know, you, you yeah. read the whole thing. If if it still doesn't connect to you, that's okay too. You know, um, yeah. not not everything might connect with you, but give it a chance. Don't just you know, I mm -hmm. think it's in this there's world we're in now, whereas, um, you know, there's, I don't know, 360 channels on TV. And, you yeah. know, I used to watch my daughter. She would go click, 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 <laughs> click. And then go, there's ne never anything on TV to watch. It's like, there's 360 <laughs> channels. That's impossible. There's got to be something, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. But it's, what, what do I want to see? That's the question. What do I want? And I want, what yeah. Want. Yeah, you you yeah, might yeah, want, yeah, yeah. you might want comfort, and comfort is repetition. You know, you, you know, I want you know, it's those people saying, "Why don't Metallica make Master of Puppets again?" And and I just I just heard a a, a remark from Tom Maria the other day when uh, a question on, you know, Rain and Blood, the definitive Slayer album. You know, and I love Slayer, all of it, I uh, love but that. definitive mm. Slayer album. And he just laughed and went, "Yeah, but we would never make that again." I said, like, why wouldn't you want to make one? It's like, well, it's not that we would want to or not want to. We can't because that was that moment. And it's, that, it's that genie in the bottle moment, right? Yeah. You let it out once, it doesn't go back again. Exactly. Can't get it out again. And, and you know, you could take that, you could take that between, you know, people going, oh, welcome to hell or black metal or or, or possessed or primeval or wastelands or, or resurrection mm -hmm. or RV or, 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 or fallen mm -hmm. angel from Conrad. It's like, you know, yeah. once you try and manipulate it to sound like that older you, it's mm -hmm. fake. It's fake. It doesn't have the resonance because, no, it, it you can't. know, I, I was 20 when I wrote that. I was 30 when I wrote this. I was 40 when I wrote this. And yes. I was 50 when yes. I wrote this. So all of those things yes. play in. You yep. evolve, um, you know. 
uh, when you when you when you're seven when you're seventeen, you put your finger up and say these people are wankers. Why? Because they just are. But when you're fifty and put it up and go, these people are wankers. Why? You've got a whole list of reasons why they're wankers <laughs> and examples to go with. Yeah. So, yeah, Everything yeah. is a moment for you. I do. I, I, I made a note when I listened to the singles off the album, um, and they're brilliant, by the way, all of them. I um, thank you. It's very. Yeah, I think that you're you're becoming very more progressive in your musical sound. Yeah. Am I am I right that it feels more like how do I say this? Are they sound completely on its own? It can't be it's sort of a separate, right? But yeah. then I listen to the new tracks and it feels really modern. It feels very it feels very modern and very yeah. progressive. I it, think it, that's it, it, yeah, I think I think that's a truism. I think that's a truism. I think you know I've heard people say about the progressiveness, uh, progressive nature, and it's 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 always a band will evolve. You 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 evolve, but you 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 have to stay with your identity, of course, because you are if you if what you're doing and the intent of what you're doing is real. So therefore, it it's it's being evoked by you who you are, and your character yeah. goes into that. Then it's real. Um, it's not. It's not constructed. If it's not contrived, it's just real. In order to achieve that, you have to be honest with yourself in that moment. So this is what we are. This is what I do. This is what I feels good, and this is how I'm doing it. And then that will transmit to people listening to it. And I think that um, you know we're not going. Oh, oh, let's make it a bit thrashy. What about this? We can make it a bit doomy, or we can make it a bit. No, less Contrived. It's not contrived. not contrived. It just happens. It just happens. Uh, but I think that's what's always the beauty about myself and Mantis. When we look to writing new stuff or we've looked to an approach, we haven't tried to manipulate it in any way. We haven't tried to mimic ourselves in any way or plagiarize ourselves. I'm, I'm, I'm always pushing him to just be in the moment. How does that feel? Feels good. If it mm. feels good, it's good. If it feels good, it's good then that's what we go with because you can only go with the feeling and and the evocative nature of that and like saying to cling mm. when where jeremy when he had to uh, for approaching the drums when he began to record in his studio in tampa and he said how should i approach this and i said feel it if you feel it then just it'll play itself you don't have oh, to do brilliant. it brilliant yeah and, and yeah. um and that's that's what happens even you know tone when i when and i've spoken about this before when I've done albums, you know, sometimes I went into the studio in the old days when we were recording and uh, for a vocal day. And I remember once the engineer went like, do you want to give me a copy of the lyrics? And I was like, okay. And, and uh, yeah. I said, so should we just uh, get going? And he went, yeah, do you want to give me the copy? I said, well, I haven't written them yet. I'll give you a copy at the end. And he was like, what do you mean you haven't written them? Fucking hell, we're doing vocals. And I was like, yeah, yeah. the music music's going to tell me what to say. He's like, what? And so I said, just play the music. And as he played it, I wrote each line down, sung it, each line, sung it, See, each line, sung it. And that's why I've done that in the past myself, because I'm not a lyricist by any means. But if I've tried, I couldn't do it on a bit of paper. I could only do it when I was in the moment. Yes. You have a yeah. the idea, but when you're in the moment. Yeah. yeah, because it's almost like, you know, it's like my, my daughter does it. My daughter does a, uh, she's like a, a very, uh, she's doing a university course. She's doing her uh, her degree and she's a, a, oh, an, incredible, an incredible like cartoon fantasy artist. Yeah. And um, sometimes when she draws, and this is the analogy I'm drawing together here. Sometimes when she draws, I, I explained it's almost like, she's unveiling it on the paper like it's already on the paper she's not putting it on the paper she's just nah, taking the paper here to reveal it yeah. and yeah. and that's how i always feel with the music you know when when jeff would send me music to go, what do you think i just how did it make me feel if it made me feel gotta go yep it's good put it to one side just yep good put it to one side uh, not feeling that one maybe change this maybe but that's how i work through it because it's like the the music is there you're just finding it through your instrument it's already there yeah. it's already written you're just finding it yeah. putting it together and then the same thing with the lyric the music its theme its feeling its 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 tempo its atmosphere will all tell you what it wants to say that's why it's the way it is you know so i i yeah uh, yeah yeah and you've been a bass player you're very it's very i'm a bass player as well right it's very 
you're very in tune with the music because you're at the heart of the music. You know what I mean? As a bass player, I feel. Completely. Yeah. I, think, I think that's right. You know, it, it depends on, the t- you know, I, I play jazz basses. I really like that. Oh. That the brightness and that that uh, yes. uh, I can get depth, I can get lightness, uh, you know, coding mm. and, and straightforward mm. bits, and I and I just, you know, there's a there's a, th- a thinking a theory, you know, you could be a, a Cliff Evans or something, or you could be, you know, like I- I- in Priest or whatever, and and the mm. idea is is you just sit on the rhythm, so you're bumper to 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 bumper, yeah, 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 just yeah. on the rhythm. That's okay. Of course, because you need that that uh, 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 you need those frequencies. So the drums and then the bass sits with that. I like mm. to do that, but I also like to play it as an instrument because there's possibilities. You can do what flea does. You know, you. I would say yes, yes, yes. You know, yeah. the more yeah. the more exciting the more exciting the drummer is for me, the more exciting I am to play because I'm going where he goes. And even on yeah. this album, you know, I mean, Jeremy or he would hear me do something and he would accent it and I would hear him do oh. something and I would accent him. And then, of course, yeah. then you give that to Jeff to just put his stuff on top and it just comes alive. It comes alive. So, it's, um, I mean, it's a, match made, it's a match made in heaven. I mean, Jeff is, Jeff is a genius, you know. Yeah. I mean, just like, what a, what a match. Yeah. You know, perfect match. Yeah, um, I, I, just, you know. It's it, even you know we talked about the 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 him and me you're not Kronos and you know blah 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 but but ah. but but they had you know Conrad and Jeff you know in those early they had a synergy there was something between the two of them which there was a punk was, energy yes and uh, me and Jeff have that in a different way probably more um, more musical uh, dare yeah I more say, technical. More the musicianship, but we yeah. have that, so it's almost like mm. I, d- I don't even have to know what where he's gonna go because I know where he's gonna go, if you know what I mean. I don't have to watch him, yeah. he doesn't have to tell me what the chord progression is. He could play like two chords and I know exactly what he's gonna do next. Yeah. It's love, just, it. love it, just that, you just get in that. tune with them, yeah, 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 yeah. And how, how are you looking? Are you enjoying playing the new tracks live? Are you enjoying that? Brilliant, yeah. I mean, you know, the the the, you, the idea was in 2019 we finished at Vakin. I I my hip collapsed and I was supposed to do surgery. They said maybe 12 to uh, six, eight to 12 weeks of recovery time. So I thought, okay. So I called Jeff and said, look, you know, if I'm going to have this recovery time, it means downtime until January. So why don't I come to Portugal during the recovery, and um, you know, we can just write new stuff for a new album because we've got the time and then release it maybe March, April uh, with the label. I discussed that and then we go straight out on tour. Uh, of course, pandemic hit. So yeah, I, I had tickets for Canberra for you coming to Canberra. I was yeah. already. <laughs> I know, I know. Gutted, gutted. And so because it just like went longer and longer and longer, it was like, fuck it. So I just said, well, look, we don't get this opportunity very often because you have to tour, so you have the pressure of release dates. It has to be delivered at a particular time. Then it has to be the promotion. Then there has yep. to be, uh, you know, before it goes out. And I said, but now we're in a pandemic, which could last a year or more. And of course, it was more. Mm-hmm. I said, we don't have any of that pressure because we can't do anything. So why don't we just write and enjoy writing? So we we used that to be free as we could and composed yeah. the total 24 songs, recorded 24 songs. The idea was going to oh. split, split the album into two. And uh, part one Ooh. and part two, and I actually called the album Nine, um, and it was based on Dante's Inferno, the Nine Circles of Hell. Um, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, and so that's kind of dance, uh, the dance macabre. That's the kind of yeah. reason for that was was because of that. And I wrote the title track Nine. Um, I had the artwork going, and then um, it was uh, uh, kind of a few months in, and Jeff, I was working, and Jeff sent me a song and said, "I'll just send a song." Would you have a listen? What do you think? And I was like, yeah, okay. And uh, I said, have you got any lyric ideas? He went, well, I've kind of put lyrics on it. Because when I died, you know, I had this experience. And he said, so I've kind of Mm. wrote wrote about that. And he said, you know, because I didn't see any hairy fairy lights and people holding their hands (laughs) out. I I just saw black. And so I called it, there's only black. And the moment he said that to me, it was like the whole, that's it. That's the album. There's only black. Because it just spoke to 
on so many yeah. levels about everything, you know, um, um, the 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 lost souls, the what happens after life, you know, what's in a black hole, yeah, what's yeah, at the yeah. end of the universe, you know, those those ideas that some of the questions that we ask ourselves we can answer. So you could say to me, um, oh, you've been to Mount Everest. I say, yeah, I've been at the top of Mount Everest. What was it like? Oh, well, it was like this. It was amazing, blah, 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 blah. Now you have all this information. But you don't know what, and I don't know what's in a black hole. In order for me to know, I'd have to commit to it. I'd have to go into a black hole. Fine. Mm. Now I know. But I can't come back out again and tell you. No. And the same thing with death. I can com- yeah. I have to commit to death as, a, as an individual in order to explain yeah. what happens. But once I'm in, I can't come back and tell you. So uh, the meaning became much bigger than, than, than and, and more encompassing. You know, if you turn, if the sun goes out, it's only black. If all the stars go, yeah. there's only black. black. If you turn all the lights out, it's just black. So if you close your eyes, it's black. Um, so it was like, wow, yeah, what is, what is it? What is the answer? And so, um, and also I tried to put the logo on the front, but the logo just didn't sit very well. I even sent it to Jeff and said, I, I, it doesn't look right to me. Uh, and uh, he couldn't make it work either. And then I was in a cemetery in North London, uh, Highgate Cemetery, which is- uh, I know it well, I know it well. Oh, well, there you are. Well. You know, I, and I, that's got a vampire cult and everything going on yes. in there. It's a cool place to walk around. And uh, I saw a headstone and it used that font on it. And I just saw that and almost saw Venom Inc. written in it. And I was like, that's it. That's oh. the, the, even that on the cover has a meaning, you know? Oh. Um, so yeah, it's kind of dark and foreboding, but also uh, it could be enlightening, that, you know? Uh, yeah. a, the invitation is yeah. if you go into the black hole, so come into the album, and when you leave or when you get in there, maybe you'll find an answer to something. Maybe you'll find some light. Maybe you'll find a reason or maybe you'll just enjoy it. Um, is yes. it possible you won't? But maybe you will. But be open to that. You know, always just be open. Keep an open mind. I think that's your beauty of your music is that you can do that with that music. You know what I mean? With your, within, your, within your framework, you can tell those stories. You can, you can open those minds within your musical framework. And I think that's the fantastic aspect of it, you know? Oh, well, thank um, you. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. Thank you. I think that's a, you know, I think that's the important thing is like, you know, you're not dictating to people how it is. You're not, uh, um, you know, you're provoking thought. You provoke them to think, you know, even the cover of mm. work on Arve, you know, there's a, there's the Lucifer. Um, he has the pan pipes to lead you away. He has the snakes in the pouch. There's a temple of David, the burning tree, the tree of life, Adam mm. and Eve, you know, the, the burning bush. There's uh, the wolf, the sheep, the wolf in sheep's clothing. There's the sheep, there's the scorched earth, there's the foreboding atmosphere. Is he coming to bring the end or is he taking you somewhere else? And it provokes, yeah. the, the onlooker is provoked into wondering, you know, um, of a satanist, is it praising, you know, Satan and and all of that, or is it actually provoking anti-state, anti-religion, anti-rule? Is it provoking the one ship, like Lucifer, you know, the light bringer? Mm. He was sent to it to to in, enlighten you, to bring you knowledge. Mm. Um, not not like how does a fucking, how does my fucking spark plugs work in my truck or. <laughs> you know, how, how do I make a PNG sandwich? It more about you know mm. understanding who you are and how it is and who you are in the framework of of existence, and and that's mm. kind of what I wanted to do, you know. And and the label boss uh, said to me initially when I was uh, talking about nine as an album uh, theme, and he said, uh, okay, but do you think that's too cerebral for your fans? And I said, well. I would hope it isn't. I said, but as long as I can provoke people into thinking, um, it means they're involved. You know, if 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 you walked in, I used to before I did this cover, we walked in and I went into so many record stores and I looked at the artworks and I thought you've got these incredible covers of incredible artwork because 
like people think about the music because they also forget this. We have a, a, just a massive, amazing artists, painters, and, and mm. designers. And I would look at all these incredible works and think we could go for something totally overpainted, totally, or I could go for something gothic, or I could go for something uh, a classic painting, you know, Dante's Inferno or Pandemonium or something like that. Yeah, you could do all those things. But I thought, but well, how do I simplify it so that actually? the onlooker, the participant, they have to answer the question. When they go, what yeah. is it? My answer could be, I don't know, what do you think it is? And yeah. then that is your answer, whatever yeah. you think. Yeah. The, whole, the merchandise thing was a good thing because I said, right, uh, they, they were talking about merchandise for T-shirts. And I said, yeah. And they went, the front cover of the album, I went, no, a black T-shirt. And they went, yeah, but what, what's on the black <laughs> T-shirt? And I said, nothing, because there's only black. <laughs> And they were like, you're just going to oh. sell people black T-shirts. I said, well, we could sell them some like fabric I'll and one. say it's whatever <laughs> you want it to be. But, uh, you know, of course, of course, people would think we're nuts. I would think I'm nuts. They do anyway. But I just thought that would be the epitome yeah. of thing to give someone a black. Yeah. Can I buy the T-shirt of the new album? Just a black T-shirt with a gold pen and go, yeah. there you go. There's your T-shirt. There you there's nothing on it because it's whatever you want it to be. To be. I, mean, I, I love that. I love that. I don't think the old band will be thinking it's too cerebral. I think that most of the people that have grown up listening to your music are intelligent people. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I think, they would, I think there will be a couple, of course. You're always going to get a couple. Yeah. But I think most people will go, most people will go, man, this is so, like, this is deep, but, but, but enlightening as well. You know, like it's an emotional trip from moment to beginning to end. Oh, and that's how they always be an emotional trip, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it has to be an emotional experience because that's music, isn't it? You know, the music which which um, doesn't matter that we don't speak the same language. It doesn't matter that we don't follow the same religion or any religion. It doesn't matter that our politics are completely fucked and different. You know, um, uh, it, it's about the music and that transcends things. That's uh, personal communication. It's like, you know, two people at the same show don't hear the same thing the same way or no. feel the same song the same way. So it, it, it's beyond all of that kind of stuff. So you're trying to attach to that. And I, I think you're probably absolutely right. You know, I don't think it's too cerebral. And I think if it, uh, obviously there's those people who, you know, just want to just wanna have music for the sake of the music, you know, but, uh, um, and, and hopefully we give them that as well. But if you want to feel more, if you want to dig a bit deeper, if you want to, absorb it a bit more you can do that too uh, and um, there's resolution in that for you possibly um, but I think that's it I think you know with the, with the Venom thing is people would go oh fucking hell more songs about say la 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 you know it's old hat yeah it wasn't <laughs> in 1981 everybody was shitting their pants but but now it's like <laughs> well you know it sounds like just uh, old time rock and roll so I think <laughs> Uh, you know, where Jeff has is, is kind of moved on in that th thing of the, the shock value and that. It's like, well, I guess so have I really. I don't want to shock people, I, but I do want to communicate with people. So it's like, you know, instead of being able to shake them. Yeah. 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 You know, one of the one of the biggest things with us is is, is acceptance of responsibility, uh, humankind. I mean, you know, you walk into a room, <laughs> there's a kid, he's three or four years old. He's standing there, your 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 partner or your mom's favorite glass vase is smashed on the floor. It's all around him. He's standing there with his red face and he's got mm -hmm. one hand on the shelf unit that it was on. And you're gonna go, What the fuck? And he goes, I didn't do it. <laughs> it's like oh, <laughs> Well, of course you did. But you know, but that's our reaction. It our reaction immediately is like, Oh, it wasn't me even though it was you, even though it's all there. So, you know, we have that major reaction. And I think uh, mm -hmm. I, I think it's just about getting beyond that. What, what makes us do that? Why do we do that? Why can't mm -hmm. you just go, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. You know, that's 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 the yeah. uh, uh, the the thing that works. You know, that's the yeah. that's an honest thing to do. But we find that in order to to manage things, manage our lives in response of other people's reactions to us, we have to just lie a little bit here and just manipulate a little bit there and just find out what they want to say, mm. what they want us to say so we can get that job or, you know, uh, yeah, park yeah, in yeah. that parking space. So we're kind of trying to manipulate all the time. 
and 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 maybe we don't need to. Maybe if nobody's doing that manipulation, maybe if we're all just being, this is what I am, this is who I am, and this is what I want, you know, we'll get much further and, and we'll find some kind of harmony. But I think while we propagate these kind of actions, um, you know, it's impossible for us to have that parity. It's possible for us to have that balance. We'll constantly be in conflict. We'll constantly be in conflict. Um, and 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 it's it, it from 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 day one, you know, from your parents saying go to bed, I don't want to go to bed, to you know, Putin yeah. going, I'm going to go and save the world, and going, no, 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 you're not saving anybody. They don't want you to do. No, that. no, you're you're just stealing a bit of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One man's justification is another man's, but we lack the responsibility. We don't we don't take the responsibility. I was wrong, you know, you know, and that's kind of even that thing of, of taking absorbing that responsibility for for actions is a kind of a new world way of looking at things you know you could talk to any psychoanalyst and they go like so yeah so do you think that was your fault that's what they're trying to get you just to go it was me but 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 you your natural defense is to push it away it wasn't me it wasn't me i was doing okay it wasn't me it wasn't me it was them and it's like well maybe if you just go it was me and then then you get into the luciferian of of, of light and knowledge of enlightenment is what did I do? Who am I? Once you know who you are, that doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to stick to your principles and an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Uh, like in the Bible, uh, uh, Anton, yeah. okay, Anton maybe was a trickster and maybe did all of his things, but the Satanic Bible, it's still got some very good tenets in there. You know, it, it, I it, enjoyed reading it. Yep. I think it's brilliant. And, 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 and you know, if you, if I walk into a bar and a guy comes up and goes, hey, how are you? I'll go, hey, yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. You know, oh, I so, saw, yeah, we're conversing and everything's on there. I'm reflecting how he is with me. If another guy comes mm. up and he goes, do you want to move out of the way, you dickhead? You know, I'm going to go, why don't you go fuck yourself, you dickhead? You know, <laughs> so I'm actually, I'm, I, I'm not instigating it. I'm just a reflection of how you are as a character. Yeah, so, equal and opposite reactions, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So if you if you conduct yourself just being open, just being nice, just being benevolent, of course, there's still going to be some dickheads along the way who, who, who have other things influencing them. But generally, that's the kind of harmony you're going to get back, you know? Um, you yeah. know, if someone transgresses on you, you have every right to transgress back. Um, they will yeah, yeah. then blame you for being the aggressor, but it's like, well, that's how it goes. You know, it doesn't, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Causality is, you know, nothing happens without an action is a reaction. So one action, you I get a reaction. So it's up to you. Choice yeah. again. And again, that's the yeah. theme of the album. You know, there's only black, meaning, you know, that th there's, there's no knowledge, there's no light until you learn it. So mm. from day one, there's only black. It's up to you what happens after that. It's up to you what happens after that. You have to find your own answers uh, as an individual. Yes. Uh, and maybe you will, maybe you won't. But give yourself the opportunity to learn, you know. Nobody ever finishes learning. Nobody knows everything. So give yourself yeah. that. I think so. And I think this album like, is going to... I, I, I said it before at the beginning. I don't know how you're going to be RV, but it has to be... It's gonna be. It's a big task to do better than Arve, but I reckon this is gonna be one. It's gonna do it. I reckon. Oh well. I Thank you so much. I mean, that's great to hear, Tony, and, and and I hope so. You know, I I, I mean, Arve did really well. You know, I, I I hadn't even considered figures because I don't look at the numbers. It's just about the experience and the playing, and mm. um, and it was returned to me when they were talking about this album and we were rolling up to do stuff. Uh, the Arve. Uh, it got when it went out over 1.2 million streams on, on on one of the platform Deezer or Spotify or something, and then there was the other numbers, and I was like, eh? and I was like, oh my god, I didn't realise that it actually communicated <laughs> that well um, because I hadn't thought about it, you know, and and um, and and everybody's been so positive about this. We got, I think, Metal Ruse just gave us the other day uh, ten kangaroos out of five. Uh, and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think their maths is a bit wrong, but then I was like, hey, I'm not questioning that. That's good. But so far, yeah, yeah I mean, the, the yeah. responses have been amazing. The responses have been amazing. And I hope that translates to the fans too. Um, everybody, you know, who liked Ave or, or even uh, uh, weren't that sure, you know, wants something more uh, to uh, uh, because we only we've only actually done one at the minute. So this is the second mm. one. 
but as long as it fits into the catalogue, you know, the whole idea of incorporated is not to challenge uh, there's two Venoms and there's him and there's me and there's this, and you've got to be on that side of the fence. Mm. So this is none of that. It's just to produce music that, that, that adds to the wealth of the legacy of the band, you know. Um, it's not about ownership. It's just about fans and music, full stop. Yeah, um, yeah. And yeah. that's all it but should that's why, be. But that, and that's why your music is so real, because you don't think about numbers. You're not going, I need to make this a platinum album. You're going to make it for yourself, and I think that's, it comes across that way as well. Oh, good, yeah. good. You know, and that's the thing. It's like, you know, if you're going to be a musician, particularly these days, you know, people go, oh, you can't make any money anymore, you know, and you get all those Gene Simmons statements and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, no. maybe, maybe you can't be as rich as Kiss anymore. Um, but Metallica are on Kiss and they're rich. So you're saying they couldn't. They did it like a while after you did it. And then, you know, BMS are doing it now. Rammstein have done it. Ginger will do it. You know, so it's like, well, hang yes. on. So who are you talking to? It's not like the old days because you don't have... Uh, the amount of money coming in because people aren't advancing your money based on physical sales because digital sales are less. All of that's great. All of that's great. And, you know, having a house in Malibu or, you know, having your own private jet and flying yourself to shows and, yeah, wonderful, yeah, and the Scorpions and they look at their own, yeah. own, their own private jet. Fantastic, yeah. And that's what a hit single might do or whatever. But it's like, if I don't have that, am I still going to do music? Yeah. Yes. Am I still going to yes. produce? Yeah, because yes. it's not about that. It's not about that. You could have everything in the world or nothing in the world, but uh, play as a player. When when you had, uh, uh, you know, you you had the, the the old blues players sitting on porches in the Delta playing music, mm. they were poor people. They were poor people. You know, they weren't. They, yeah, weren't, yeah, yeah. they weren't mega rich stars with private jets. They were sitting on nah, porches. They still recorded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's a there's a there's a there's a realness to that. There's there's a a, a real emotional involvement to it. So it's like never lose that, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go work in a studio in Upper Manhattan and you know spend like four hundred thousand dollars, you know, with a producer deconstructing and reconstructing songs until we have a smash hit. It's like or just get out there and play music to the people and just write. You know, it's my, but, but, you know, you, you, you're an Englishman like me. There's an old saying, you know, like the blue touch paper and stand well back, right? Yes. That's, that's what it is. Right? It's basically that. It's just light the flame and walk away and it will explode for you, right? That's yeah. It. And and yeah. also, also, that's it, Tony. And also, don't look back. Don't look over your shoulder because the minute you look back, you, you're... you're yes. You're showing that you're interested in, and you're hoping that. So don't, don't worry about that. Just keep moving forward. Yeah. Keep moving forward. And if you keep moving that, that thing forward, um, people will connect to it. They may not connect to it today or tomorrow. It may be in a year's time or ten years' time. You know, I just had someone uh, just yesterday. I think it was uh, wrote something. Uh, you know, and said, "Oh, it would be nice if whatever it was." And uh, and I started to send them links and said, yeah, but this was like, this was done about six years ago. Oh, was it? So it's like, well, you know, we didn't hide that, uh, but they're six years late, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what <laughs> it doesn't how matter. late you are to the party, as long as the food's still there. No. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, as, long as, the, as long as the beer's still flowing. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. I, I'm just, uh, thanks for chatting, uh, Tony. It's been a really great chat.